here we have the Barcon NFP drives with the latest menu structure. This is set up for a snow key equipment. Start of all, press enter, choose a language English, standard application. After you choose this, it will reboot. Now that it's finished rebooting, the menu is set up for standard operation. Put in our minimum frequency or our compressors. We could set up 25 hertz as standard. We set up 30 hertz. Maximum frequency, 50 hertz. Acceleration time. Depending on your drive and how much torque you have, we set up for a fast acceleration time. Nominal voltage of the motor, nominal frequency of the motor, nominal speed of the motor, and the current. Our compressor, in this case, has 43 amps nominal voltage. A nominal current draw Choose the correct current that's on the nameplate of your compressor. Point eight five standard motor. We're going to use zero to ten volt, which is analog input one. If you're doing four, um, four to twenty milliamp direct, it's AI two. When we complete it, ask if you'd like to repeat. No. Press enter. Would we like to copy these parameters? No, because we're not finished yet. Currently we have a fault, we'll fix that in a moment with the settings. So we start off going up to parameters. Again, come through our basic presets we're not currently using. Field bus, keypad, R1. These were generally set up in the home page. We go back, after auto restart. We can set up automatic restarts there. Protections. There is one protection we like to change. One is the stall current. So currently by default, NXP puts a st the stall current at the maximum current. Compressors can have a higher starting current at first. This is normal. We find it has to be Generally speaking, about 50% higher so that we don't stall. And, I'm sorry, we have motor. This is where it tries to predict the temperature of the motor, and we want no action. That's all the uh, changes here in protections. In motor control, can change here the um, should be the starting no. right. Favorite frequencies this is if we find vibrations we can change it exclude those frequencies here here we go drive control go through the ramp shape we don't change a lot of these but we do come to the starting function we change it to a flying start. This again helps to get the compressor straight up to 30 hertz and not waste time. We don't change these other settings. Um, acceleration on two, depending if this is to do with other speeds, we can lower this secondary acceleration time as well, which will again prevent stall. After we've finished drive control, we're not doing any output signals on this, but we do have input signals. Start stop is forward reverse. Analog input one is analog input one. We're not inverting the signal because we have a P rack, which is giving a zero to 10 volt, zero slow speed, 10 volt high speed. If you're using a four to 20 milliamp sensor, we would invert that. Our fault currently is coming from our 
external fault on open. Let's change that and if we reset it, our fault will go away. And that is the end of our parameter setup. For the barcons, you can see here now it's output frequency, the drive is ready. Once we give it a run signal and a 0 to 10 volt signal, it will operate. Thank you.